Portland Park. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey with your host Will and co-host Mr. DC. Coming to you live on 88.1 WHPR every Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live call-in numbers 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Also with live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. See our past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Here's your host, Will, with co-host, Mr. DC. All right, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, 88.1 FM. I'm your host, Will, sitting up here with DC. What's going on, DC? What's up, Will? What's up, All Detroit? right, all right. Sunday, set to, I mean, Sunday, <laughs> April the 13th. I'm trying to speed this year up. Damn, all right, we ain't even got to no zone. <laughs> exactly. That's the problem. I'm, I'm up here fiending for football. I need, September, a, like, wait a I need rehab. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Got a lot going on. Uh, NBA season winding down. NHL playoffs about to start also. They winding down. Major League Baseball just starting. Yeah. And uh, let me take this time to say that um, Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by TakeTheLock.com. Uses specific handicapping tools to predict the outcome of sporting events that provides free daily picks. And they also deliver premium picks. TakeTheLock.com now and uh, profit this uh, spring and summer with the NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball. For more information, that's TakeTheLock.com. TakeTheLock.com. We'll be back after a word from another sponsor, and uh, we'll jump off into some NBA. This jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. All right, welcome back uh, to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, sitting up here with DC. 313-868-3688. 313-868-3688. First, let me start off by congratulating UConn, the men and women, yeah. winning the uh, national uh, championship. championship basketball. Matter of fact, on uh, both teams, when they're in the championship, they 13 and 0. That's good. UConn and uh, the men have had four titles in 15 years. I'm happy for the brother. They didn't even want him there. Second year. Nah, they didn't want him. Kevin Ollie. You, you can tell they didn't want him there. Yeah, they, they didn't, didn't want him there. Now look oh, at right. him. Ooh, Boy, right. how went and fixed things. All is forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> he gets you a title in his second year. Second year beat Kentucky 60 to 54. I was kind of nervous that game. I, ain't yeah. know that. I, mean, I was nervous because I thought UConn was going to blow it. I was like, okay, it's not going to be good. I had to get up, man, at 4 o'clock in the morning. I couldn't even do it. <laughs> I couldn't even do it. Uh, speaking of that, what did you did you check out your standings in the brackets? I didn't even check. I, 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 like, I, I lost, so I was, not, I was done. Once my team lost, I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to check it no more. <laughs> I checked mine, and actually I came. <laughs> There's nothing to brag about, but out of 10 million people, <laughs> I came in 200,000. That's no change. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, I came in two hundred thousand. <laughs> so I was a long ways from the. Um, yeah, he's a long way hundred thousand. Yeah. Hey, but it beats this. Um, I think it was a student or somebody in Kentucky. <laughs> they had actually picked UConn to win the ch national championship. Uh huh. But they didn't submit it. So Ooh. he was out of a hundred thousand. Yeah, Ooh. he's hurt. Yeah, he's hurt. Yeah, he I picked them, but he did not submit Ooh. it. So they said, nope, it do not count. It Ooh. must be submitted. Ain't that I something to have 100000 yeah. in your hand and just yanked out? Ooh. Like, he hurt. Especially due to your era. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he hurt. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. All right, let's move on here. Let's um, talk some NBA. Um, Joe Dumas talking about he's about to resign. Okay, Joe. Joe, is that what you calling it? No, they going <laughs> to fire you. Joe. 
We gave you the option. Either we're going to fire you or you're going to resign. Pick one. Joe. Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe must go. He's fired. He's took out of there. too long, man. He's out of there. Took too long. But before we look at the matchups, man, let me give you the uh, – let me see if you think any of these players will come here to Detroit and play, even with Joe gone. <laughs> Let's start with number nine, Dwayne Wade. No. He'll be a free agent. No. You know. Um, he, he not leaving Miami. Let's just start there. You know, he's not leaving, No, no, not the guy he's trying to No. Okay, we got Rudy Gay, Sacramento Kings. He's nah. a free agent. Do nah. you see him coming to Detroit? Nah. That's number eight on the list. Let's start with Lou Al Dang. He might you stay in Chicago. <laughs> no, no, he ain't in Chicago no more. He's in Cleveland, oh. I believe. Yeah, they traded him to Cleveland. My yeah. Nets come on to Detroit. Man. Yeah, you know, so. <laughs> Wait, clearly in the playoffs this year? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a toss up. He might as well stay a couple. I don't know. Evan Turner, who's with the Pacers, he'll become a free agent this year. Let's take this call and see what's going on out there in the world. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it where you calling from. What's up, what's up? This is Longhorn calling from Texas. What's, what's going on, Longhorn? Longhorn? What can we do for you here? Man, y'all said what's going on in Unison. Y'all been singing together? So, like, y'all got harmony going on up there in Detroit. <laughs> y'all trying to bang back the four top? The trying, trying to put the band back together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on with you down in Texas? Hey, y'all, this day, me and the missus, we just chilling, man. We went to the uh, uh, Moto GP yesterday, watched the su super bike races, watching cats leaning on the curves, dragging their knees. So we had a good time yesterday down here in Austin. And where was that? Oh, that was in Austin? Yeah, they have the, uh, you know, like the cats on a super on sports bike. Yes. Yeah, we was there watching them race, man. You talking about some cats leaning and dragging their knees around the corners? Bro. Oh, yeah. I'll be seeing hey, that, man. That's, that yeah, too. that, man. That's, that's, that's that dangerous. Hey, I'm, I'm seeing some pictures, Bill, of, uh, of us down there. Hey. It was a good time, brother. Once I once I retired, I think I'll try that. Ooh, uh -uh. Why wait till you retire? Why not just do it now? Uh -huh. I, I don't want the, you know, I don't want the army talking no crap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, they talk that anyway. Right, they don't talk that anyway. You might as well get it out the way. Yeah. Everybody down there at Fort Hood, all right? After that shoot, let's get that on out the way. Everybody, all right down there? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're adjusting, man. You know. You, know, you, you never can tell. What I told you about these shows back. You gotta, have, you gotta watch how you talk to people, man. In, in, the, in the, not only in the military, but in general. But in the military, especially, you know what I'm saying? You it's know, a, it's amazing how the uh, media and the army put that out there like it's not condoning what he did, but they're making it seem like you know he just did this for no reason. You cannot sit up and tell a man after his mother did dies, rather. That you only can go see him, go pay your respect for one day. No, you can't. You do can't that. do no, that. Ain't no that. professional, no man. Profession. Come no. on. They gotta at least give you a few days for that. No, uh, man, I'm gonna need a week or more. <laughs> you know. No, you know. You, that's man. That's not. You can never just get over right away. Yeah. I know. I feel you, bro. Cause uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Need at least. Don't need to be a week or two, or uh, you know. Yeah. I, only, only people I know who let. The only. Uh, organization I know who let, who let the uh, people go visit somebody for one day when their mom or somebody died as prisoners. Oh, they take them oh, okay. the, there one day for the film and they right back in lockup. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. They don't even let, they don't even let them hang with the family. They let them go out there and look at the beauty body at the funeral, put them right back in that padded room, take them right back to the lockup. You, you know, know what, what I mean? think the worst thing somebody can say to you when your parent when somebody died is real close to y'all. This is the worst thing that I think somebody, and I know they mean well when they say this, but I, somebody like walk up to you and say, well, she's in a better place. Well, no, my man, I thought the better place was here with me. <laughs> How you gonna, you know, I understand they mean well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I think that's the worst thing you can say. She's in a better place or he's in a, no, I think the better place was here with me, True. you know? through that. Well, you know, sorry, right, Longhorn, we done brought the show to a screeching heart. What else can we do for you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do y'all think about that Northwestern uh, Wildcats allowing them to unionize? Took them too long. 
I, I'm gonna say it took him too long. You know what? I'm gonna put it like this. I think what's gonna affect that is, I mean, it's a good thing. I agree with it 100. But because I think the athletes should be getting something, man. I mean, you know, they talking about some. Okay, well, we giving them a free education. Okay, let's add the numbers up here. You making millions of dollars. Ain't no education costing no millions nah, of dollars. No. Nothing. Yeah, they making billions. Yeah, they make exactly. A billion, a million. Exactly. So I think they should get something. Now, what a problem is going to come in at, right? You know, the, everybody know that the, 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 the top, you know, sports in college and whatever is baseball. I mean, not baseball, but basketball and football. football. Yep. So... Are the swimmers and the volleyball team <laughs> going to be entitled to the same pay as the football? And back, that's where the big thing I think is going to come in at. Yeah, what about the chess team? Exactly. <laughs> it's all about who's bringing in the money. Yeah. You know, but yeah. I think they should get something. You know, I mean, come on, man. They're making a killing. They're not starving. They're not hurting. And not only that, they never open up the book until how much the athletic program each one of them actually brings to the table for the earnings they never gonna tell nobody that no i never you know say that see that's why chris Weber said when he was with michigan he was you know he walking down the street up there he ain't got not a dollar in his pocket no, 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 let's, let's get one thing clear of course we know he didn't come from no poor family no he didn't come from no poor but family. when you up there in college and you don't got no you know not at that moment a dollar in your pocket to go get a pizza or something eat, then you look in the window and you see your jersey hanging up there for hundred dollars. Come and, and on, I ain't get no problem. And I ain't get, come on, of course I'm gonna take some money. Of course, yeah. you know. I mean, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it is what it is. Well, I tell you, if it was me, if it was me, uh, uh, DC, yeah, if they was if they was recruiting me, I tell them out the back when they come to my crib. How much you paying? That's all I want to know. Because I know, bottom line is, I'll make y'all a whole lot, I tell the, the recruiter, whoever, bottom line is, I know I'm going to make y'all a whole lot of money. I even got cash want to follow me now out of high school, one of whatever team group for in college, they said if I go to your school, they're going to root for your school. You know, they're going to buy your school stuff. So well, I, see, already, I already got clientele lined up, you're ready to put their money in your, on, your, uh, on your school stuff, your gear. So how much I'm going to get out of this? You well, see, know what I'm saying? See, but before you yeah. make that argument, see, you got to be a target. Because they target inner city poor kids. Right. None of the Duke kids get targeted for that. No. Nah. Because they already raised up in money. You got to come from the hood. Yeah, exactly. Country, exactly. All you know is basketball and football. That's you can't, you can't read out. or write either. <laughs> yeah. You got you yeah. you to be stupid because they're going to get you in the long <laughs> yeah. run, too. But they, they have yet that major in college uh uh, uh, theater, huh? Movie and theater major. Yeah, I mean, I know I'm not that serious. They just want you to come to school, play for them, and then I'm not three gonna or call, four years you go to the league. I'm not gonna call this guy out, man, but he played for the national championship, and I got some really reliable inside sources that say this guy cannot read or write. Now, I heard a teach. I had a teacher tell me once I ran this past her. She said that's sad. That's just somebody falling through the system. I said, no, 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 no. You That's don't fall. Is, you yeah. don't fall through the system and end up at the university that he ended up at. You fall through the system when you can't read or write. You out here on the streets and you That's working a regular system, minimum right. wage. That's falling now for the, the rest of you. That's falling through the system. But you don't fall through the system and you playing for a national championship. I'm sorry. That's called pushing you through the system. Yeah, because uh, in uh, some some uh, like Ohio, for example, man. They're lawmakers. They 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 uh they going against this unionization of colleges. You know, a lot of other states are going against it too, and we know why. Cause they getting backdoor kicked from the colleges to you know to go against it. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, ain't no there's no college in the world that I know of that you go through for four years. It's gonna cost you four million dollars. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's no, and, 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 wait a minute, and let's keep one thing real too. There's not a degree out there you're going to get that's going to, you're going to make that type of money every year. That's why I'm happy when the kids go out there, they want it done, they go get that money, man, when they can before something bad happens to them. I'm not mad at them for leaving college early. Now what they should do is return to college and further their education. But as far as them leaving, man, going to get paid, 
Go for it. But she, you know, some of them, once they leave, they ain't going to want to come back. Yeah, it's very few. You know, Shaq went back, got here. Because he promised his mom, so he yeah, went he back. Most and, of you know, but but how many sacks are there out there, though? None no, of no. them. You know, they too busy, you know, uh, making it twerk or rain or whatever they doing out there. You know, you know, they out there flashing, you know, you'll see them on broke. They didn't think about going back to school so they can learn. Let me tell you something about some of these kids. They cannot count. That's how, that's how I get, man, they cannot count. There's no reason if I'm Michael Vick and I got all that money that I'm owing dealerships money. Nah, I wouldn't. Nah. Cause he could not write out checks to you. When you can't count, you cannot write out checks, and you don't want to get nothing on paper and then print to let you know that you stupid, you a fool. Look at uh, look at Vince Young. Huh? Look at that good. Look at that guy. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, How are you making millions of dollars, but you taking out a loan for a party? Exactly. Really? Why are you taking out a loan for a party when you making millions of dollars? You know what I'm saying? Dog, they cannot count. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I believe that 100%. They cannot read or count. You know, and then and they'll sell, sign their name and life away to anybody. And it's so long they think they're going to get something on them. Next thing you know, well, they screwed my manager, screwed me over. Oh, you just can't How about go, these you hundred cars you, you got on Instagram you that you done bought for your boys? How about them cars? How about all these houses you done bought for your boys you got posted on Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's what y'all think about the Spurs, man? I mean, hey, they still doing it year yeah. in and year out. I can't take nothing away from them. But you know what? The Spurs are division champs, and then they they're not gonna go all the way to the NBA championship. That's the only thing about Spurs I don't I don't seem to care for. Yeah, they and all the stats. But when it comes to the time of the playoffs, crash and burn. I just don't get it, man. I just don't get that. Nah, because every year they always make it to the either the conference, the Western Conference Finals or the Finals in the playoffs. So they they always make a good run. So I think this year it might be the same thing like last year. They I think they hungry. They, they want that ring because they got mad what happened last year between them and Miami. Well, my thing is they can make runs, but the bottom line is conference champions. Hey, you can't can't hold none of the to an NBA champ. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But. I, I, I think they more. I think they hungry this year, so they they want to. They don't want to repeat what happened last year in the finals, so I think they hey, want y'all, that. Y'all see that dude when he uh when uh he, he went up against uh uh, uh what's that guy name? When he went up against uh James and he uh fouled him, but they call him the block shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah 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 uh yeah. <laughs> hey, I know you talking. Was a clip. Hey man, that was a clear foul about it. You know, if you see that 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 replay, the guy actually gave James high five back when he hit his hand. Well, it's like they, it's like they shook hands at the, at the top of the rim. Well, see, you know, he get calls and sometimes that's just that's the part of the game. You know, that's just how it is. I thought it was a clean block. What? I thought it was a clean block. I saw it. I thought it was a clean block. Because he got he got the ball and his hand, so I figured, you know, it was a clean block. Hey, check this out. As it stands now, uh, it's going to be the Battle of Texas, baby. The Spurs and the Mavericks in the, uh, the first uh, round matchup. Oh, yeah. The, well, the Spurs are going to take them. You know, then we got the Thunder and the Warriors and uh, the Clippers and Trail Blazers. Yeah, I want right? to I I see OK. I want to see OKC. No, nah, that's okay. Memphis. I'm sorry, Memphis, yeah. Memphis, Memphis. They go in one, they go one eight. But the uh, Phoenix is uh, right on them though, so uh, they got a few games. I think the end of the season is Wednesday. That's the last game. So I'm sorry, it wasn't um, Dallas and uh, Spurs. It's Memphis and uh, the Spurs would be a first round if it started today. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I want to see OKC do it up though, man. I, you know, I, I want. Uh, I want my man to get his get his ring, man. He, he, he's a, a worker. Uh, Tarantula, KD, KD. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, I, I want to see him get one, too. A couple, I, mean, I hope he don't get one of those type of players to get it at the end of his career. I wouldn't mind. You know, him and Chris Paul is at the top of my list. Yeah, of, I, would, of, um, I, would, I would like to see Chris Yeah, Paul of getting a championship like rank. Yeah, Paul. them like one and two A, you know, you can put them in either order that I would love to see get a ring before their career ends. Chris Paul and KD. No doubt. No doubt. 
Alright, what what old Isaiah doing, man? Ah, uh, who knows, <laughs> man. He's floating around having bad boy reunions up here. I don't know. <laughs> you know, he's you know, he's not I don't know what's gonna happen with this Detroit situation up here. Joe talking about he resigned and and we know he's getting fired. Fire him. That's the cover word for resigning. Yes, that's, I, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to start using that. That's the cover word for that. resigning. Like, yeah, they're going to fire me, so I'm, I'm going to start resign. using that. <laughs> I resign. Actually, I did use that. I can't tell it on the air. I did use that one time <laughs> when they wanted me to go do something and then beat them to the punch. I just said, I resign. <laughs> they looked at me all weird. <laughs> <laughs> How you know about that word? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, I tell you, you know, it, it was a trip, man. I had I had to pull that out of the hat. Like, no, 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 I'm not about to go do that. I resigned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then then you went like, well, I never heard it now, but... Well, I saw I was starting a new career two weeks later, and they wanted me to do something, you know, that was going to be on my record, and I, like, can't do that. <laughs> I resigned. Plus, plus, you really didn't have the authority or the credentials to go ask me to do that. That's another reason I resigned. <laughs> they had to show me some credentials and some, I need to see some hard facts. You got to show so me so some. He's just going, so he's just you, resigned. You got to show me. I'm telling you, let me tell you, let me tell you this little story what happened though, for real. You know, you know, down in Tennessee, you know, I'm doing a little Snoop Doggy Dog, you know, Puff Puff Pass. Went to work this one Pacific day. I guess they smelt it on me. So, they came up there the next day. <laughs> no, late on that night, you know, they pulling everybody in the drug test, whatever. They sent me in the bathroom by myself. I put water in. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, you, you the first one ever. You're right, the first one. <laughs> I put water in it. So I'm looking at her, look at it. She got the glass, she's shaking it up, <laughs> looking at it. So I comes in the next day, the site supervisor say, you know, Barney Fife, he gonna say, uh, your test came back inconclusive. We need uh, you to take another one, and this time I gotta go in there and watch you. I said, hold on, Barney. <laughs> Pump your brakes, baby boy. What credentials do you have to go in there and watch me hold my junk? I mean, show me what, what medical school you went to. What, 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 what what you mean? You gotta watch me. That's perverted. I resigned. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Out of other words you use, you gonna use resign. I resigned. <laughs> I, <laughs> I already know you say and I left, went it. home, finished up what I had, and I quit ever since. You, you say it was perverted, man. I mean, he gonna watch. I mean, the man ain't got no credentials, man, to watch me. He's a security <laughs> guard. I'm not knocking that profession, but he has no credentials wow. to watch me. Wow. <laughs> you want to make sure you're someone in the clue, man. I ain't seen no medical patch on his shirt. <laughs> But he had, I ain't seen he had nothing. No white jacket. No white jacket. I ain't seen no stethoscope around his neck. No gloves in his hand. He just gonna stand there and watch a brother? No, T Bunny. Come on, Barney. Come on now. Hey, <laughs> don't talk. What do you say, steady? So, you know, I resigned, went home, and, you know, the rest was history. Oh, Moved on to my next career, which turned out to be great. That's Took me around to see the United States, so I loved it. So, you know, it is what it is, but you're not watching me with no credentials. Nah, I can't do it. <laughs> All right, Longhorn, what else can we do for you? All uh, right, that's it, man. Just call, check in with you guys. You know, I know it's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? They almost, they almost had me going to Cuba for uh, a, a couple of days, man. If they changed their mind. They're going to send me to Cuba for a year. Okay, well, I, I know the Cinco Rivas, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they got a base in Cuba, yeah. Well, the good thing about that, they fight to get off of there, not, you know, you know, they, they, they ain't running they around throwing the rocks at tanks in some countries I know and see on the news every day. I mean, are they, dog, no, gee, money, a rock at a tank, and what, what is that going to do? I wish somebody would be like, come on, man, let's go ahead and stop this invasion. Okay, what we got? We got some some rocks. I look on the side and you got, got a rocks. bag of rocks. You got some rocks. Man, you better go and get up out of my house, man. I got something to do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
If anything, I mean, I took a rock, I threw it at that clown. <laughs> right. Exactly. Let me see one of them. Let me see. <laughs> Let me throw a rock at you, see how that feels. Hey, man, that'd be funny to me. I'd be like, oh, come on, rocks at a tank. Hey, DC. Yeah. Like, let, me, let me get some practice shots. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> if this rock can make you bleed, I'm sure you can go through that tank, that seal right. or whatever. Let me see. Uh, all righty. All right, um, Longhorn. You know, thanks for serving the country. Everybody in Fort Hood give a shout out from Detroit. All right, my wife says, "Tell y'all what's up." Uh, tell her we said what's happening with the hello. Stay safe down there. We appreciate what you're doing for the country. Yep, that's right, brother. I'm about, start, you, I'm, about start, I'm about to start. I'm about to start USA like the Iron Sheik in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Y'all take it easy down there. All right, man. All right, later. later. All right, check it out. TakeTheLock.com uses specific handicapping tools to predict the outcome of sporting events and provides free daily picks, and they also deliver premium picks. Take the lock now and profit this spring and summer with NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball. For more information, that's TakeTheLock.com. We'll be back after word. For my sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. All right, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey. Sitting up here with DC. I'm your host, Will. What's going on, DC? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Hey, DC, check it out. Let me say congratulations to the Red Wings. 23 years in a row to make the playoffs. I love it. I love it. Only Detroit team that can do that. You know. Put that out there. <laughs> yes. <it is. laughs> only no. Detroit team that can do That's that. That's the only Constantly. one. Constantly. Constantly. Okay, check it out. What year was you born? 87. Okay, so you was just the midst of the um, losing streak. Well, actually, let me tell you like The last time the Red Wings made the playoffs was the 89-90 season. How much do you think a gallon of gas was back then? Two dollars. Almost. But well, what do you think, man? Uh, you back then? Yeah, in, in the eighty-nine, ninety. Uh, 90 let's go back nineteen ninety. What do y'all think a gallon? Two dollars. Two dollars. Dollar. Dollar fifty. And dog, the closest gas. Dollar. I mean, <laughs> a gallon of gasoline back then cost a dollar sixteen a gallon. Hey. Man, that was the good old days, wasn't it? Which I was driving. <laughs> How much you think a dozen eggs cost back then? Fifty cent. <laughs> what you say here? <laughs> a dozen eggs. Yeah, obviously, DC picking his own egg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, if a gallon of gas was a dollar fifteen, it was ninety nine cents a gallon. Okay, I, I, was, I, was, I was close. I was close. Big shit. <laughs> How much do you think a home cost back then? A three bedroom house, brand 20, new, twenty thousand. I'm about to say fifteen. Uh, we're only going back to 1990, not 1890. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 139,000. What you think the number one TV show was back then? Family Matters. What you say, Henry? Uh, the 90s? Yeah, 1990, number one TV show. Uh, your call. Post, Henry, it was Cheers. The number one movie, what you think it was? Uh, DC, 1990, 23 years in a row. But like the Red I Wings that made the playoffs. I don't know. What'd you say, Henry? And they had two, of, well, I think they had maybe three of these sequels. I know they had two, I'm not sure about the third one. Uh, Indiana Jones. Nope. 
Home Alone 1. Wow. Was the number one wow. movie the oh, last time the Red down. Wings missed the playoff. Man, that's an incredible feat. Yeah, it is. You know, I mean, you can go back in the day, you know, to Boston, <coughs> the Montreal Canadiens, they won, I think, like 29, 26 in a row, something like that. But the modern day era, the Red Wings, man, they be doing it. They be doing it. You know. And, and still doing it. 23 years in a row. Man, that's incredible. So once again, congratulations to our Detroit Red Wings. I think their first matchup is with Boston. That's going to be good. Yeah, so bring home the cup. Because can't nobody else bring nothing home. <laughs> yeah, what I say? Uh, but okay, grocery hopefully, some hopefully, problems. Hopefully, 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 hopefully the Red Wings can bring that cup back to North City. I mean, I'm sitting up here looking at the Pistons, 29 <laughs> and 51. They ain't bringing on nothing. Joe talking about he resigned and because Lord knows he done done good. Let me tell you what Joe have done with the Pistons, man. Where is it at? He got well. I'm going to call some questionable. He got one ring. Yeah, he got one. He got one. Should have got three, but he got one ring. Let me see. Where is it at? Where is it at? I had it in here. I want to talk about these players. Like Allen Iverson, man. He bringing these washed up players here. Tracy McGrady, Chris Weber. Come on, man. We should have got them in the beginning of their careers. Yeah. Michael Curry, he should have never been a coach here. Never. That was after Larry Brown. And after Larry Brown? Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That was Flip Saunders. Flip Saunders, okay. Never. No, Larry Brown came in uh, after Rick Carlisle. Right. Who was that? After Larry, what did Michael Curry? After, uh, no, Flip Saunders was after Larry. Then okay. after Michael Curry came okay. in. One season, 39 and 43. I mean, remember the junkyard dog? <laughs> Jerome oh, Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to play for the uh, Piston. I wonder what happened. Well, I was about to say, what happened to him? <laughs> I'm, that's my homework for this week. I'm going to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I got go, to go, go, um, Google the junkyard dog. To what see what, to him? Yeah, but <laughs> you don't hear nothing else about him, do you? Uh, nothing. 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 But uh, anyway, so we'll see what happens, you know. What they do with the draft, what they do with free agency. They should just clear it, man, clear the team. Andre Drummond. Over. First of all, they're going to have to get rid of one of the two, Josh Smith or either uh, Greg Monroe. Them two can't play together on the court together. It's a big disaster. Yeah. It's a disaster, man, for real. It's and we let's keep it real. Ain't nobody gonna take Josh Smith's contract. That's so it's gonna be hard to get rid of him. Fourteen million a year, shooting five hundred threes. <laughs> well, nah, that's not happening. That's you might not. as well keep him. Yeah. Let me give you the Lions exhibition games. They play the Browns, Oakland, Jacksonville, and check this one. Check this game out. August the twenty eighth. They go visit Jimbo. Jim Schwartz in Buffalo. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Actually, they say that's supposed to be their um, Thanksgiving Day game. He's supposed to come back here. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Boy, you talking about selling tickets. Huh? People mm -hmm. just going to show up to booing. Huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. They haven't released the, re I mean, the schedule yet, but that's the rumors going on out of here. And uh, we come back. I'm gonna take another quick commercial break here. We come back. I want to get off into something, man. That jumped off last week. That hit the social media. That I really couldn't believe that this. You know, we'll talk about this when I come back. Let's have a word from our sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. All right, 
Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by TakeTheLock.com. Uses specific handicapping tools to predict the outcome of sporting events and provides free daily picks. And they also deliver premium picks. Take the lock now and profit this spring and summer with NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball. For more information, that's TakeTheLock.com. Take the lock. L O C K dot com. All right, DC. Let me um, jump off into something that jumped off last week. WrestleMania. <laughs> <laughs> okay. WrestleMania. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a big wrestling fan. Not like I used I, to I be. I was. You know, I, I was at 100% back in the day. I probably, probably 65, 70%. Like with the old school. Yeah. Left. Now, 20%. The Undertaker went in there 21 and 0. They in WrestleMania. Yeah, I heard. Don't you know, man, that when he lost, that people were actually arguing and took this seriously? Yeah, I, that's hard. On social yeah, media? I saw, yeah, I thought. Yeah. You saw the. Yeah, you you ordered it? No, I didn't, but I heard. I oh, saw, you saw the social I saw, media? I saw the social media. <laughs> Your thoughts, DC. I mean, yeah. these people. What? <laughs> 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 What guy gonna hire the nerves to say it's real? Google it. <laughs> <laughs> but man, for real. <laughs> man, let, me, <laughs> let me just get this out in the open. It's not real. Just come on. Just what like fool that. gonna it's say? It's not real. It's not. I bet y'all couldn't take a body slam through an announcer table. If I had the training that they had and learn how to break my fall, I could. Dog, it's fake. Yeah, it's fake. It's all 100% fake. 100%. 100% fake. <laughs> Man, I'm in a coma. Then they, got, they say they got most of the guys. They said they, got, they found the, the fifth guy who was in it. So now nah, he might be prosecuted. And then they said the guy, he woke up like either Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, what I'm saying, though, DC, all these people that's mad and upset and having rallies at these churches and stuff, why we didn't have all this? When the, maybe I missed it, I don't know. But it wasn't out there like it was with this one. We didn't have these rallies when the security guard got killed for CVS. Why we didn't have this when nah, the girl nah, in Dearborn nah, got shot nah, on the porch? Nah. Where, 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 where was, that's the only thing, you know, if you're going to do for one, do for do all. all. Yeah. You sure? That's my only problem that I really have. I'm not, I, I'm 100% they wrong for what they did. I'm not condoning none of the fact. But I'm just saying, you know. If you're going to do for one, do for everybody. I mean, and now the new thing is, unfortunately, they use it and getting away with and And the people that did this going to make it much easier for them to still get away with it when they see it. I was scared of him. Thought he had a gun. Boom, boom. Okay. Right. It happened with George Zimmerman. It happened out there in Dearborn. It happened at the gas station in Florida with the four kids. I mean, the number speaks for itself. Yeah, but see, the, with the girl out in Dearborn, they say my man opened the door and saw her and shot her. And you know what? My thing is this, too. There's another problem I got with this situation. Why is he out of jail and they locked up for beating somebody, but he out of jail for killing somebody? Yeah. That's so another that's problem I got with this situation. Yeah. Ken Worthy, why is he out of jail? And these people are in jail. They beat somebody. He just and he blew a girl head off. Smooth walk. He's standing six four, six five. She, I don't know how tall she is. He towering over, but he's scared of her. He was in your house. He was on your porch. Dog, if I'm scared of you, I'm calling the police. <laughs> exactly. Same with the Zimmerman thing. He's talking. About he on the phone. He's scared of the kid. You a security guard. My thing is, if you're scared of somebody, why are you chasing him? I'm not going to chase you, D.C., if I'm scared of yeah. you. I'm not chasing you. Mm -hmm. I'll, you probably be chasing me, <laughs> but I'm That's not chasing you. Been. But anyway, let's take another quick commercial break, and uh, we'll come back get off into some more sports. But I just had to get that off my chest. I don't like to get political and stuff, but some things, man, just, you know, it because, yeah, it just, you know, because yeah. I just want fairness, man, down the board. You're not going to get it. You know, I know, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You're not going to get it. And I might say things that, you know, make people, but I don't care. I just want fairness. I don't care what color you are. I just want fairness, man. I deal with all type of races every day. I see nice, 
white people, black people, Asian people, Indian people, all man, everybody in their race is not no bad person. Nah. You know, but when you when something happens, you know, we 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 are savages, we're animals. You know what I'm saying? Now, they call give another perfect example before we go to they call them kids savages, animals. Be now they should be not for life. But yet the guy in Pittsburgh stabbed down to everybody in the school and guess what? He's misunderstood. He's misunderstood. And the lawyer had the nerve to say that they like the Brady family. Gee, man, I watched plenty of Brady Bunch. I ain't well, never like seen that. none of the boys go take a knife to school uh, and kids stab and they people. Say, and they say, like, the, a teacher and the uh, principal had to tackle the guy to the ground. That's not savage and an animal. You just walking down the hall just stabbing people? Yeah. Dog, come on. I want fairness. Not gonna get it. <laughs> exactly. Let's go to a uh, commercial break. We'll be back. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. All right, Detroit Sports Jersey, sponsored by TakeTheLock.com. They use a specific handicap tools to predict the outcome of sporting events and provides free daily picks, and they also deliver premium picks. Take the Lock now and profit this spring and summer with NBA, NHL, and Major League Baseball. For more information, that's TakeTheLock.com, TakeTheLock.com. Dot com, one of the sponsors today of Detroit Sports Jersey. All right, Fred, let's, I mean, um, DC, let's uh, freestyle here. We got uh, next month, couple of weeks, the draft coming up. How you think the Lions going to do? Come on, wait. Think they're going for a receiver? Yeah, they're going to go for a receiver, <laughs> which they should. Eh? If, uh, they, if they were smart, I believe to take corner from Michigan State or the safety from uh, Oklahoma. No that, doubt. that is your two best picks in the draft. That's where your weakness at. That, that's where your weakness at and your secondary. I don't know how they're going to see you. You don't need no receiver. You got Calvin. You just signed Golden Tate. If you want a receiver, go to the later rounds and get a receiver because the receiver is going to be there. Big deal or no deal if Sue didn't show up for the volunteer workout this uh, week. Because people making it a big deal, you know, they're on the other radio station, want to run him out of town, talking about trade him, get rid of him, get some okay. kind if, of value. If you going to trade him, who are you going to get from him? Well, actually, they say saying trade it. Um, uh, the, the most I done heard is trade him to the Raiders because they got the money they can, you know, who you go, So you go, So you going to trade him to the Raiders, you're going to get a first round or a later round pick. So now your front line is no good now. And can I say one thing, really? I mean, you know what? Okay, I understand it's a business. Sports is a business now. I don't get that. So, well, why would he want to be here? Why? I wouldn't go to the why Raiders, would, though. Why would you want to be here? You, and you don't tell you right now. Uh, you know, laid on down the line, these other players are not going to want to be here. Stafford and Calvin. No, they have no tradition of winning. No, nah, they don't. None whatsoever. And poor Jim Caldwell. Oh my God. I, I mean. I'm rooting for him. That's all. I'm just going to how to say it. I'm rooting for him. I hope he does well here. I know he's going to get a bad rap from the fans, but I'm rooting for him. Cause only. He, why? Because he got to prove it. Yeah, he got to prove himself. My man has two Super Bowl rings. What else do you have to prove? got to prove himself. What do you have to prove? <laughs> I got two Super Bowl rings. I'm coming to help y'all win the Super Bowl. Man, I wish the free agent was here because this is the time <laughs> that like, I really could rip oh, off into him. Man. And he's more than welcome back just in case y'all wonder what happened to the free agent. But this is the time that I would love for him to be here. Now, I don't know what's going on out there in California, but why? What's going on with my 49ers, man? Rape allegations with the quarterback. 
Come on, what do we really need this? No. This. I don't, they just want to throw something out there, like, we're going to throw that out there sometimes. I don't know, man. It's, you know, what's going on that's out just, there. That's just like the quarterback from uh, Florida State. Yeah. They threw that out there, like. I tell well, people, the Tigers pitcher reliever, they accused him of raping somebody down here at Motor City Casino. So yeah, what's his name? Reed, uh what's his name? Evan Reed or something like <clears throat> something like that. Um he played opening day, he's a reliever for the Tigers. They accused that um yeah, that he drugged the girl. Wow, okay. <laughs> you know <laughs> but the only thing that's probably gonna kill her story is she went and waited I think a week later to report this and take a rape. You know, come on now. I mean, that's the same thing with uh, Jamie Winston from Florida State. She, it took her a year later to come out and say this. Like, a year later? Why you couldn't do it the next day? See, that's why, man, these athletes need to start hanging around women with class, man. Some of them don't women, know that. Women, I mean, but if you've got somebody that's got a career, like, I give you a perfect example. I'm not saying she's no angel and she walked in, but I'm quite sure. Uh, I know, I don't question they have any problems, they argue or whatever. Who, who don't? Who Gabrielle and Dwayne? Oh, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to get yeah, something. Gotta get something. I'm trying to use that as an example. Yeah. You know, it's, when you, you money got to mess with money, G Money. Like you said, some of them are hood rats. Right. Look at all the reality shows. You know, hood, <laughs> case, in, case in point. Hood some of them rat got city. Got, some of them got degrees, got money, but you put them in front of a camera, they don't know how to act. That's just like I was telling this guy the other day. I was like, man, the reality shows are not reality. No, not. The, the Beverly it's Hills it's or the, what they call it, the uh, Housewives or whatever. All the, all the all people that. in Beverly Hills yeah, ain't acting like that no. with that real money. No, nah, they not. You know? They're not, for real, they're not up there throwing glasses at each other. And, and, and you know, I'm telling you something I noticed about you, because I have watched a few, not none of them Housewives, but I don't watch basketball, whatever, like wives and all, some of them. All of them is the same. She don't like me. She said this about me. It's every week the yeah, same, same thing, argument and argue. fight. It's, it's drama. You know, people love drama. But it's the same yeah. argument and fight. Okay. Wait, you said this three weeks ago. She still don't <laughs> like you. Yeah, but you still... I don't, I don't watch that mess. It's, I don't, it's a waste of time. You yeah. know, it's... I don't know, man. It is what it is out here. You know, what can we say? We talking about this because sports is slow, right? Yeah. <laughs> to the, to the um, basketball playoffs start that Saturday, I believe. And um, baseball, like I said, it's a long season it's going on out here. And, you know, uh, give me your final thoughts and uh, stuff before we get up out of D.C. before I reboot this camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Lord knows. This will be a dry week. So I mean, everybody have a good week. Better. Alright, DC, you gotta keep talking. Come on, man. Alright, alright, I'm back. I'm back. I ought to find good help, man. Everybody go on vacation. <laughs> Always <laughs> leaving me, leaving a brother. They know who they are. They watching. <laughs> so they watching. Gotta go. Yeah, yeah you know, it's all, it's all good. Uh, let me give a shout out to the voice. Went up north to go visit her people this weekend. You know, coming in from uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Shout out to my daughter who I'm going to see up in Minnesota next month. For the, uh, it's going to be cold up there. No, it's going to be around, uh, what's that holiday, May? Uh, Memorial Day? Oh, okay. Yeah. Memorial Day, yeah. So I'm going to go up there, hang out, go to Mall of America, do a little shopping, you know, check it out. Why is Chad Johnson... Uh, Why is Chaz Johnson uh, trying to get back in the league? No, with the CFL. 36 years old. See, that's what happened when you climb, when you're a sports star. See, the you not, they don't even want you in the NFL no more. Last that's time, what he did, though. Last time he played was 2012 for Miami. 2014. No, no, 2012. That's the last time he played. I know. But it, yeah, he was. <laughs> and he wished that he was playing in 2014. 
Look, look what he did though. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, but it is girl. So you know, that's, <laughs> that's the consequence you you gotta pay for. So you know. So what your boy Ray Rice gonna do down there in Baltimore? He married his wife. Huh? I don't Medis, know. God. She can't testify nah, against she him. Can't testify. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on how they do. So I mean, who would you like to see Baltimore take? I have to say, uh, like another. I probably say another. You want another running back? Then? Nah, I'm gonna oh, keep Ray Rice. I'm gonna keep Ray Rice. Rice will be doing three to five. <laughs> 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 now, let me stop. I have to say, I have to say another safety, another probably defensive tackle. Don't you want another Ray Lewis out there? You don't want another Ray Lewis? Never, never gonna have another I know this Ray is a long Lewis. shot, but I love, I would love to see uh, the 49ers take climbing. I know it's a long shot, but I know it's... That's a big drop. Man. That's a big drop. Man. Woo, you talking about some defense? <laughs> That'd be nice, though. That'd be nice. Woo, that's, that's the only, for real... Cause I believe in this offense win games and defense win championships. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, so man, and our defense is already tight. Man, can you imagine getting him? Huh? It'd be unstoppable. All right, this uh, that'd be that'd be deadly on the line. This segment right here is brought to you by Sleeping Pill. I'm just getting dogs and trying them out, and they working. So. <laughs> 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 so until next week, we're going to try to get Henry up over here because obviously this medication is working a little bit too good. <laughs> oh, man. All right, DC. Uh, go ahead and give you your final shots before we get up out of here. See y'all next week. Have a good week. All right. Shout out to the people up in Midland, uh, Wisconsin, Chicago, Chicago, Tennessee, Texas, Detroit. I'm your host, Will. We up out of here. Peace. 8.1 WPR every Sunday 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live call in numbers 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Also with live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. See our past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. See you next week. This is a test of the emergency alert system.